Hello, my name is Bernard Vandori and I'm the product manager for Ironic integration with Nuage. And what I'm, I want to do today is to show you a demo of bare metal uh, booting using Ironic and how you can bridge your bare metal asset into a virtual network that will allow you to have one single policy into the hybrid cloud for both your bare metal and your virtual machines and containers that you manage all through OpenStack. What we got here is an um, OpenStack controller with Ironic installed. What you need to do, first of all, as you know, if you use Ironic, is to, to have an inventory of your bare metal assets. This means in the Ironic language to, have, to set up your nodes. So if I do a node list, you can see in this case I have one single node. If I go into the detail of that node, You can see this node is pre-configured to be booted using ILO. So even the, we'll use ILO iSCSI as the, the driver. So we have the ILO password, ILO username and so on. If I go into my Ironic port list, and then if I show the detail of my port, you can see that in this case, we added for the Nuage integration a couple of extra fields that allow you to define which port you use, which VLAN you use, and on which gateway the bare metal asset is connected. So in this specific case, we will use MC lag. So this means that your bare metal asset is connected through multi-chassis lag into two different VSGs. And this will allow you to provide link redundancy in case one of your two links goes down. If I move to the Nuage VSD, which is the management plane in which you define all your virtual policies, and if I go to my Ironic configuration, you can see that we have an Ironic provisioning subnet. This subnet is also into Neutron. Here it is. Subnet list. Ironic provisioning. And into that Ironic provisioning subnet, what you got is Ironic conductor and each bare metal asset which is initially connected into that Ironic provisioning network. The goal is of course to be able to use Ironic conductor as the background engine to push the final image that you will define when you boot your bare metal asset. So if we, if we look into Nuage on the gateway side, I go into the infrastructure and then I go into gateways. We have multiple standalone gateways. And then what you can do is you can create a redundancy group made of two standalone gateways. And that redundancy group is an MC-like group. So you link two VSG nuage gateways together. And you can create a virtual port, a lag port, which is basically two physical ports on each of the two standalone VSGs that you link together into a lag bond and that you connect on the same uh, bare metal asset on the other side, which in this case will be your Ironic blade. So in this case, we use ILO as the boot mechanism. So if I connect to my ILO management plane, you can see I can open a Java remote console. Yes, I trust it. So initially, your ILO blade is not powered on. So you can see server power is off. What I will do is I will issue, I will issue a boot command in order to boot a bare metal asset. Here we go. So I will do another boot with an image of type CentOS bare metal, and I will define a flavor of type bare metal. This is how Nova will know that you need to use Ironic to boot a bare metal in, instead of a virtual machine. I'm also giving as parameter which network you want to use, as well as a couple of other parameters. So I boot this. Here it is, I'm saying the boot command. 
the Nova Boot. And if in, on this side, I'm tailing the ironic logs, so you can see exactly what's going on. So if I go back to my ironic blade, you should soon see that it's going to go in power on mode. Here it is. So we got into the weight callback state, which means that ironic conductor waits to be called back by the bare metal asset. In the meantime, you can see that automatically the HP blade got booted and it will initially boot a virtual media because we use the, the ILO iSCSI -E driver, so it's going to boot a virtual media that will later on mount an iSCSI -E that is pushed through ironic conductor so that we can use the final user image. We are into the virtual media boot sequence. This virtual media is now going to DHCP out of all the interfaces. One of those interfaces, it 0 is connected to Ironic Conductor and will mount the iSCSI uh, remote location in order, to be, in order to be able to push the final image. So what you what you will be able to see to those logs is that virt virtual media try, trying to connect to Ironic Conductor. So on one side I got my screen output from the HP server. On the other side I got my Ironic Conductor logs, so you can exactly see when my bare metal got connectivity to Ironic Conductor. So we got into the final boot sequence. It's enabling all the interfaces one by one. Basically, the virtual media got connectivity to Ironic Conductor, and now you see Ironic Conductor, which is pushing the final glance image to the bare metal asset. You can see this because it's DDing over here into the logs the image to the iSCSI mount, which is the remote bare metal. And here we are, so the, the final image was successfully pushed and you can see that Ironic Conductor is now reconfiguring the gateway. So the, the Nuage gateway will move the port and VLAN to the final network that was defined by the user at boot time. So if I go back to my VSD, what you will see now is that the Ironic Conductor, net, the Ironic Provisioning Network got only one single interface for Ironic Conductor. The actual bare metal interface moved to the final network, which is this one, and here you can see it. In the meantime, the Ironic Conductor pushed a reboot command to ILO, and what you can see is ILO, ILO is now booting, rebooting into the final user image. That's the final boot sequence, so we, we are now booting into CentOS 7, that was previously pushed through iSCSI. Um, what you can see now is that the bare metal got full connectivity to the final network. So once the boot sequence is finished, you should be able to just issue a ping to any virtual machine into the same subnet. Here we got CloudInit is up and running, we got all the information. I'm going to log in to the final image, stack, and what you can see is all my interfaces came up, and the interface that is connected to Nuage, which is this one, got an IP address through Nuage, through the Nuage policy tool, and if I go to my VSG, in my VSD, I can see that this IP address was indeed applied on that vPort. What you just saw is a, a demo of Ironic, a complete boot sequence using Ironic together with Nuage. This allows you to boot a bare metal asset and to bridge connectivity through the VSG or VSA gateway that Nuage can provide. Um, this allows you to have into the same network a bare metal asset and virtual machines or containers that you have somewhere else into your cloud. So one single tool, one single policy, both for your bare metal and your virtual machines. This is the true hybrid cloud.